But I want to give you one little metaphor about that. Uh, that's what I call the table and the table legs. What most people do when they go in for therapy or start talking about emotional issues is they will describe what they're doing in general global terms. Um, for example, someone would say, I feel abandoned. That's how they would, when they go to, that's what they'll say when they go to the therapy. I feel abandoned. Well, that's the tabletop. The tabletop is, is held up by lots of legs underneath it. That's what holds the tabletop up. And so if, if you start to do EFT on the tabletop, it's too global. It's like trying to pound the tabletop and expect it to, to, to collapse. What you do is you, you kick the legs out from underneath it. Each specific event underneath it gives rise to the feeling of, in this case, abandonment. A specific event where the time mother left me alone for two days I, and I felt abandoned. The time I was rejected by my boyfriend and I felt abandoned. Th those are all specific events with crescendos in them. Those are the table legs holding up the table. And you collapse those table legs and after a while the feeling of abandonment goes because there's nothing holding it up. Okay. Very important concept. For mas mastering EFT, you really have to understand specific events and this whole concept of tabletop and table legs. Because, because you've got to get to what's, what's underneath all of that, or you're not ever going to collapse the anxiety. You may get temporary results, but you've still got all these table legs holding it up. Okay? And then along with that, the question that t tends to come up with that all the time is, well, Gary, but there are th a thousand events. Yes. There's a thousand. I mean, I have to do EFT on a thousand events you know, to make this thing, to get rid of this? No. We have the generalization. How many of you are familiar with the generalization effect? I'm curious. Okay, that's only about half of you. Um, uh, th that was put together most uh, uh, graphically on our Six Days the VA video, where the first vet there, I asked him, I said, well, how many tens do you have, you know, in your Vietnam experience? And he says, oh, I have at least 100, at least 100, and so on. Well, we dealt with two, I believe it was, right on film. He went off on his own and dealt with three more specific events that happened. And then he couldn't find the rest. He couldn't, they, he couldn't find them. Uh, and what happens there is a generalization effect. That is, that is, these table legs underneath this tabletop have so much commonality often that when you take care of 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, something like that, you've pretty much covered the whole basis, the, the foundation of all the rest of them. So you get a generalization effect, so you do several of them well. Then the table, table legs wobble, down goes the tabletop. Anxiety, the sense of abandonment, or whatever the case may be, tends to disappear.